Hi again, it's Trevor Lynn, and I'm here to talk to you about Power Director. As you know, I've been a fan of Vegas for quite a few years, and I have been running Power Director in Vegas alongside for a period of time now. And sad to say, Vegas won every time. I had um, issues with Power Director. I wasn't really happy with the way that the audio was edited and one or two of the things about it. Anyway, I decided to uninstall Power Director, and I had a big surprise because when I uninstalled Power Director, I didn't realize that left a shed load of files left. And so when I went on to add and remove programs, it wasn't just a case of uninstalling Power Director, everything else was still there. Anyway, I made a short video of it. I wish I'd started right from the beginning now so you could have seen everything, but I picked it up part way through. But I just hope that this is a warning to you. If you do install Power Director, uninstalling it is a lot of work. That's what I found. If anybody knows anything better than what I've discovered, then please share it because I'm sure we'd all like to learn. I've discovered that I've got all this legacy left here. Now, there are 97 apps on here now. So when I came to uninstall the program, it didn't just uninstall everything. It left all this different stuff here, Photo Director A, um, A1 style pack watercolour and animated overlay pack. I've already deleted shed loads of other stuff as well. I've got 97 apps here, but there must have been well over 200. And, and the reason I'm telling you this is that if you install this on your computer and you decide not to go with it, you're gonna have all this stuff left on your, on your computer. So I'm having to go through these one at a time, click on it, click on uninstall, receive the prompt, respond, click again, wait until it's uninstalled, click again, then go on to the next one, uninstall, click again, click again, click again, uninstall, Click again, more clicks and a dodgy hip. So there you go. If you've got Power Director and you've come to the end of your test or, or you, you want to get rid of it, it's not just as simple as removing the, the, the main program. You've got all these other applications to uninstall as well. I wish there was a way I could just tick the box, just tick down the side here. Select all these to uninstall. I've got 95 left. So the only way I can do this is just by going down the long road. What, that's one click, two clicks, three clicks, four clicks. Five clicks, and then start. So there's five clicks to uninstall every item. So there you have it. The only way of uninstalling it for me was to remove each application each program individually there you go cheers now bye